Hi there, my name is Chris Mowat and I have a question for you. Have you ever waited until maybe a little too close to a deadline to start working on the project that you have to deliver? Well, this video is a living example of that. This video is due this afternoon and I just thought of a topic and I don't have any content created yet. So what am I going to do? Well, we're going to talk about how to create a video at the last minute with very little time. And the only way that this is going to be made possible is by using a tool in the SOLIDWORKS product suite called SOLIDWORKS Visualize. And SOLIDWORKS Visualize is going to help me to develop a full animation that will serve as a commercial for advertising an electric guitar. This electric guitar comes in all different colors and it's beautiful. We need to create an animation that evokes drama and emotion so that we can sell this product when it gets manufactured. Now that's a big ask if I need to do that in only a few minutes but I guarantee you that we can deliver on that and you'll see how. It's all going to happen through the easy and fun and fast tools available in SOLIDWORKS Visualize. Let's take a look. So here we are now in SOLIDWORKS Visualize. I've got the guitar imported and now we just need to add some appearances. We're going to rapid fire through this. We need a bunch of metal so let's just go ahead and add metal wherever we want and here and here and here and here. We can then go ahead and add a few others. We've got a titanium, which is a little darker, and I can add that wherever I'd like as well. That seems to go good there, 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 and there. Looking pretty awesome. Let's see if we missed anything. We'll come in, zoom in a little bit, and it looks like this right here is the only one I missed. Now, let's go ahead and add a more shiny material. We'll do a... Um, clear coat stainless for these right here, these little strings. And now let's add a paint. We've got different paints. I've got a metallic paint set where I can just drag and drop this green on here. You can just experiment, drag red, whatever you'd like. We're going to animate those changing in just a moment anyway. So now we've got this other end here. I'll just go ahead and focus on this. And now we need a wood. So we'll come over and I'll choose the wood category and add on a mahogany. Let's go ahead and add a teak to the top. Now the rest of this I have the materials for. I actually already added them to my project when I dragged them over the first time. So we can just drag and drop these right onto here in the exact same way and copy paste them in the exact same way. I've got a few more things going on right here. We'll just go ahead and borrow this and paste it on to our last few components. Great. So again, we've procrastinated on this, so we need to get going right away into the animation. Well, let's start with the animation of the appearance. I'll move back over to this area, and let's see how we can animate this. I have my appearance right here, my candy red. I'll just rename it, and I'll just call it Animated, and then I'll right-click animate and add a keyframe. This is establishing the fact that it's red right now. I'll have it change color all the way up till 20 seconds and all we do to do that is move this slider over to the other side and now we have a complete animation of all the colors of the spectrum. Pretty cool. Now let's go ahead and worry about the lighting. So we've got scenes in Visualize that produce all the light and the shadows and the reflections that impact our models. So what we can do is take this one that we have currently, Chrome Studio, right click, and we can add a keyframe. I move it to when I want it to start at zero seconds, and then I move over to where I want it to end. So here I'll have it rotate about 358 degrees. So now what we're gonna see is all of those reflections moving across. So now let's start animating the camera. Let's zoom right in and take care of this right away. Let's start right here and have the camera start from this angle. So I'm going to start what's called depth of field. This is a property that just makes it have a focal range and I like that right there. Then I'll just animate my camera, click add keyframe in the exact same way. I'll come over six seconds and we're going to slowly rotate and move over like this and we can see what that looks like when I scrub this timeline. 
Now, we have these transitions in, in these keys. One of them is called the hold transition. And the hold makes it so I can skip one frame right to another camera angle. So for instance, if we want to go from the top, we can just do this. Uh, come down like this and animate it going from left to right. So now what we'll see is immediately from here, it'll jump to here. And I just animate this up until 12 seconds, moving along. So now what we have is this. Now let's go ahead and animate the depth of field. I'm going to go ahead and add one more of those hold transitions and then move by one frame and let's focus on the back here. Alrighty, so we'll get nice up and tight like this. And then what we'll do is we'll click on the pick for the depth of field so we can see it real close and we can decrease this setting a little bit so we can get more in focus. And then all the way up to 16 seconds, we'll have this now change its depth of field all the way to the other end. And now what you'll get is an animation of that depth of field changing over time. We'll finish with one more of these hold uh, transitions scoot over by one frame and will give us just one more animation that shows us or one more set of camera motion that shows us like this all right so we'll start there and then i'll move over to 18 and come over this way so we now see that's the difference between those two and then i'll make sure that we come back up to see the whole guitar and I'll pick to just make sure that we have the proper view. And there we are. So now we can see this entire animation having been created just in a couple minutes using the simple tools in SolidWorks Visualize Professional. The last step is just to render this out, set the quality, and then wait for the end result to come out. Whoa, can you believe what we ended up with after just a little bit of model setup and some rendering time? We just use SolidWorks Visualize Professional to add appearances, animate those appearances, animate the camera, depth of field, rotation. We also animated the environment, creating dynamic lighting around our model, all with only a couple minutes of work. The rest of the work is done by the computer. You can walk away and continue to procrastinate on all your other tasks that you have. So I'll end this video by saying, Thank you, Visualize, for making this possible, and I'll say you're welcome to all of the procrastinators out there like me, who can now depend on Visualize to deliver at the last minute. Now, anybody with a reasonable, you know, sense would probably say just don't procrastinate, but I thought that this was a great topic for a last minute video on creating a last minute video. I'll leave you with the video that we just created at the end of this one, and I appreciate your time, take care, and have a happy new year.